This is Taking Stock. I'm Carol Masser in for Pim Fox. Well, since 2001, the Palm Beach Show Group has been producing shows where vendors sell luxury art, antiques, and jewelry pieces. Now, it hosts 10 events a year, seven different cities, and the sales of these events are expected to reach over $100 million. Right now, we're joined by the Chief Executive Officer, Scott Diamond. Great to have you here on Taking Stock. Thank you, Carol. I love your backstory, because from what I understand, that you've been an entrepreneur since you were a kid. Yes. And that you sold bagels when you were a kid, and you sold that bagel business at, I think, the age of 14 for something like $5,000. That's correct, yes. Why has business kind of always interested you, uh, or, or having a business? I was an entrepreneur at an early age, and I always thought that it was an extremely exciting thing to be able to bring a product to market and have people buy it and then have them be interested in what you had. So from 12 years old, I started that bagel business. At 14, I sold it. At 15, I started a chocolate business, got into stocks, and uh, got into real estate. And then in 2000, um, in 1993, I opened a jewelry company, and I now have six jewelry stores as well. All right, so six jewelry stores, but talk to us about what you're doing at the Palm Beach Show Group. Yes, I founded the Palm Beach Show Group in 2001 to produce the finest of art, antique, and jewelry shows in the United States. And the first event that I ran was in 2004, and it is then and still now the largest vetted art antique and jewelry show in u.s history so you're it's fantastic so yes. you're reaching a huge venue talk to us about the kind of items that you sell yes so there are uh, a number of dealers that uh, work in asian art jewelry silver tapestry porcelain all of the fine arts and at each one of these events and i take the events from coast to coast new york chicago los angeles they're able to sell to collectors interior mm -hmm. designers art advisors the public museum curators these treasures and talk to us about some of the treasures yes well there's everything from Van Cleef and Arpel pins I know you have a photo of that yeah. uh, to paintings and that recently went for what about a half a million dollars did. it did it went for a half a million dollars who are typically your buyers and what's the market look like we just got about 45 seconds here. well we basically like to say we have good better best and that allows a buyer to come in and buy for $1,000 allows a buyer to buy something for $6.5 million at our events. And so I'd say the buyers are anyone who likes art antiques, jewelry, porcelain, tapestry, silver, and or is looking for alternative asset class because this is an alternative asset class. Good to know. And you've got the New York auction coming up or the New York show, I should say, coming up yes, on that's September 17th and Armory. Baltimore, August 21st. Uh, August 21st through 24th. That's correct. Scott, thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Scott Diamond. All right, thanks to uh, Scott Diamond, Palm Beach Show Group Chief Executive Officer. We are on the markets.